Hi there, I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman, and I am with you today to share about space travel. You know, we think about these astronauts going into space, and yet the potential is coming forward through an organization called the Cash Foundation. And I have John Bliven with me today from the Cash Foundation, Cash USA. Hi, John. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you and for this, having me. You're welcome. It's so good to be here with you because I want to know the answer to these questions. Because in, this, in, in all these teachings, these public teachings of the Cash Foundation, we regularly talk about people being able to go to space. I mean, just a regular person like me. I don't have to be an astronaut. So... Tell us, what is that all about? I'm the managing director of Cash Manufacturing Arizona. And later on in 2018, we will be opening up a, a large factory in the, in the Arizona area. And part of that um, factory will um, include a research and development center um, targeting, um, I'll call it the space travel. Um, space travel is going to evolve, um, and 2018 promises to be a very exciting year for all the things coming forward relative to space travel. Um, it won't be space travel like we've known it in the past. It won't be rocket ships and, and uh, uh, you know, Things of that nature, it will be. Um, like you more, mean, like we won't have to put on these suits and go sit in like. You won't a, have to put on suits. Be strapped into something where we're gonna take off like a rocket ship. None of that. Okay. Um, and part of that is because the human is also evolving. Yeah. So the pilots of the new spacecraft will most likely be. Um, at a level of their soul where they will be um, at one with the spacecraft, meaning that they will be like plasma beams, okay? Mm. So the reason why um, we don't see a lot of the spacecraft that are out there in the skies today is because um, dimensionally we're not able to see um, craft of a higher dimension. Um, yes. it's, not, it's not something that's uh, available to our site. We will get to the level, um, a few people first and then others follow, where we will have the ability not only to create the craft, but to um, be a part of the craft and the crew of the craft. Now it will take, um, it will take a, um, a, a person and a crew team that are uh, capable of uh, holding higher uh, energies. Um, their souls will be higher, more highly evolved and they will have the ability to um, uh, do a lot of the things that have been talked about around the, the, uh, the foundation. In other words, they'll be able to um, change from one costume to another, uh, one bodysuit to another. Um, because when they go to the moon, they're going to have to fit in with people that are, are beings that are um, – adaptable to the moon environment. When they go to Venus, they're going to have to be adaptable to the Venus environment. And the two of them would, would be different. So this is something that's going to be new. Uh, it's something that's going to come in, in um, our lifetimes. And slowly but surely, we'll start to make um, major inroads into becoming a galactic society. Mm. John, that's exciting. It just brings up all kinds of questions in my mind. Um, and I'm sure it does for a lot of people as well. 
course, I've been in these teachings for the last couple of years, so I've heard this talked about. And you know, we have many people on the planet also, even besides in the teachings, who we are recognizing that there's different dimensional levels of being. So we're sort of used to the old 3D world. That's kind of a dense world where you can knock on the table, basically, or knock on the door. But as we move into these plasmatic fields and we're dealing with um, the atoms or the molecules moving further apart and creating space in between them, and the plasma being able to flow into that, such as nano coating and bands, these simple plasma tools we've been learning to use, um, we begin to realize that part of the understanding of different dimensions also is part of that understanding of plasma. What do you say? Yes, and so one of the things Mr. Kish talked about was um, that we wouldn't be able to take a picture, a photograph on the new, the new version of spacecraft. Mm. And if you think about that for a second, what you're, what you're talking about is dealing with one state of um, physicality versus another state of physicality. Um, it's kind of like the why can't we see the UFOs that are floating around all over the sky? Right. Why can't we see uh, uh, a being that may be in our, in our space and we feel something there, we, in our mind we know it's there, but we don't see anything. Right. So we, we brush it off, whether it's a, a, a fairy or whether it's an angel or whatever uh, type of being it may be. Or maybe um, every once in a while we get into a special state or somebody has higher developed abilities and they can see that being or they can. Yes. Yes, right. So that's where we're going is we'll be able to see those, uh, those beings um, easier um, because we too will become um, of, of a plasma light body, if you will. Mm. Now, a lot of the beings that uh, are out there in the universe are plasmatic light beings. They can travel anywhere, anytime, um, with or without a spacecraft. And they can um, uh, adapt to whatever planet or environment that they wish. When we create the first spacecraft, um, it will not be with metal and it will not be with uh, um, uh, all the tools and, and, and things of, um, that we would consider like an airplane type of environment. It right, will be right. entirely right. plasmatic. Mm. And when we walk into it, anybody that comes into that environment, that plasmatic environment, will become a changed person. Mm. So it's kind um, of so like creating a field, like a plasma. It's a, it's, a, it's a field, very much a field. It's a, a, what they call field plasma. Mm. Um, and, it's, and it will be um, operated and controlled with, uh, with our thoughts. So we'll fly without steering wheels without uh, um, you know the, the normal things that we think of when we when we typically fly um, and the um, let's say the instrumentation and such will be uh, of a higher of a higher order so mm. this is where we're going um, when the first spacecraft is um, um, I'll say um, first introduced, um, it will unlock a whole new way of trans transportation and um, travel for um, beings on this, on this planet as well as other planets um, throughout the universe. So John, do you think we're gonna um, experience all this in our lifetime? Yes. I mean, this lifetime we're my my uh, my thinking, and this is my thinking only, is that 2018 is going to be a very big year. 
Mm. And I, I fully expect to see breakthroughs in, in the year 2018. Wow. So let me ask you this. Um, you said some people will have kind of more of a developed ability to be able to go into one of these environments and use them in the early stages. So yes. do you think those are younger people that are being born that kind of have more advanced abilities or you think it could be anybody? It has nothing to do with age. Nothing, nothing to, to do with age. age. Okay, no. so what do you think it does have it's, to do with? It's a, it has everything to do with the soul's evolution. Mm. So it's the, the, uh, the souls that have reached the higher levels um, will will be the will be tomorrow's pilots and tomorrow's passengers of space. So and what I, every, I will, everybody ahead. will have that opportunity to um, um, be at that level or graduate to that level or reach an understanding that brings them to that level. Uh, and that's what Mr. Kesh is trying to, to teach us all so that we can in turn teach the next generation of, uh, of space travelers, if you will. Mm, how exciting. It's very exciting. Okay, so this would be uh, one of the type of devices that we're using to uh, um, understand and test the spaceship design and um, uh, on, on a, I'll call it a material. Actually, it's a plasmatic um, field generator, if you will. This dynamic reactor has the the uh, four four dynamic reactors in a starship formation, and we <clears throat> we'll fill them up with uh, various versions of the hydrogen GANs, and with the hydrogen GANs, we'll open up. We'll open up the hydrogen and uh, or the tritium, and when we open that up, it'll create a a bubble of uh, energy fields, much like a um, um, I'll call it a mini sun. Mm. Um, so it'll be a big, huge field. Uh, even though this device looks small, the fields will will be um, much bigger than this. Um, so it's, it's, it's that type of uh, uh, arrangement that uh, uh, will allow for some of the first plasma craft to be uh, developed and, uh, and initially operated. Wow, that is very cool. So I would uh, uh, recommend, you know, following the, the uh, the weekly workshops. The workshops have a lot of good information, especially if you go back to the last workshop. Mr. Kesh opened up some um, amazing new doors. Was that um, the 202nd or 200? The 202, yeah, 202nd. 202. Right. Um, that was so a really you, nice tying together, I think, of what's happened in the last 200 workshops. Yes, yeah. So what you're seeing is there's going to be ways um, to shorten the cycle for soul uh, development, if you will, um, so that the process doesn't have to take, you know, hundreds of years. It can happen, you know, more dramatically. But one of the things that's happening on the Earth plane is that we're being assisted by the sun and the um, many, many different beings uh, to support our evolution. So mm -hmm. everything's kind of coming to a culmination um, and we just have to open up to it to um, say, yes, I want to, I want to move forward in a different way. Mm -hmm. And, and your, your soul will um, start moving you in that direction. Beautiful, John. Well said. I'm excited. Sounds like exciting things are coming, and we'll have to do an update in the next few months and hear what's coming next. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for taking this time, and um, we want to encourage everyone to jump into the teachings of the Cash Foundation, both private and public. Um, many 
many free public teachings, thousands of hours on YouTube at this point. Um, Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute is a YouTube channel. And we have private teachings as well, just 150 euros a year to participate in numerous public teach private teachings. And um, get on the train. Learning this new plasma science is exciting. It's going to, what is going to carry us into the next phase of human history as a galactic citizen. Much love to all. Thank you, John. Okay, thank you for having me. See you soon. Okay.